morning everybody good morning good morning that's an empty trailer and there's my truck we are headed to Beresford South Dakota today to pick up a load that's going up to Winkler Manitoba we're gonna put it right there on the trailer we're gonna tie it down it's gonna be fun glad you're here I'm just here checking my tires making sure I have that premium air making sure everything's ready to go wouldn't want one of these tires to fly off in traffic or to blow up in traffic it's hard to tell though when they're gonna blow up, but gotta at least make sure that they're built before you get going right that's the, that's the first thing that's where you start we're buckled in we got our lights on truck is ready to go let's just do a little tug test to make sure my eyes didn't lie to me when I checked that fifth wheel that we are still attached to the trailer we are indeed and the trailer brakes work and they release awesome we are ready to rock and roll ladies and gents we got about two and three quarter hour to go to the loading point should get us there at about uh, what is 11, 12, 1, 2 o'clock. Plenty of time to get loaded and start heading back up to Manitoba. Why is that? Why didn't you use your blinker? Like, I get you were in the turning lane, I see that now, but. I didn't see that at first, and I was waiting for her to go in front of me. No big deal, no one was hurt, that's fine. That is just fine. Still, use your turn signals. I don't like feeling confused first thing in the morning. Let's get these pipes and these tires singing. straight into that car what you see that that little car in front of us just drove straight into that van that was weird Just here getting this load tied down. Getting everything going. We got one, two, three, four, five, six rolls. All going up to Winkler, Manitoba. From here in South Dakota. Really light load. Really light. 
Plus, I'm gonna have the wind at my back. I was going against wind all the way down here, so I'm hoping nothing's changed. And the wind will be pushing us all the way home. A nice light load like this, I'll just set out my sails and just whew, coast home. Okay, so the cheapest fuel on my route back is right here in Sioux Falls, just a little north of here. About a half hour or so, we're gonna swing in there, grab some go-go juice. And then head on back. We should make it up to Winkler tonight. All right, figure out how to slink my way out of here. Sneak on through here. Just gonna scooch through. Excuse me, just scooching. shower. Oh, I forgot to wash the windshield. You know what? Pumps are right there. I'm going to go grab a squeegee. I'm going to bring it over here. I'm going to wash my windshield right here. Get that over with. And then we're going to get back on the road. We'll be in Winkler tonight yet. It's time to go. about six and a half hours or so from the Canadian border. I'm not cleared to cross yet, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to uh, cross tonight, but if not, it's not a big deal. I can cross in the morning. 
This guy's perked, right? From all these spots sliding his axles here. At least I can get out still. Why are you giving me that glare for, buddy? You're the one parked in the middle of the lot. Glaring at me like I'm in his way. Ha! Ha ha! Oh, I'll give you one of these. Can't show that on YouTube. One big old bird. That's what you get. I didn't. I didn't flip them off. I I only I did in my head. In my brain I did. I didn't actually. Last thing I need is to be ticking people off down here and have them chase after me or something. You know, people are crazy. 100 meters, turn right on, west 60th street, north and then, take the entrance to the right into 160 meters. You no, know, Karen, that's a great idea. I was actually thinking of doing exactly that. Go figure. It's almost like I don't need you. Ha, <laughs> ha. I mean, she does work for free. I don't pay her. per gallon US translated to Canadian and Canadian dollars with all exchange rates everything else included it was a dollar and 11 cents Canadian per liter dollar 11 someone scan my barcode on the side of my truck at that light. Oh, at least one person scanned it. I don't know how many of you found my channel through that barcode on the side of my truck, that QR code. Uh, at, least, at least I know someone was working. Someone scanned it. Let's get on to I-29 North. This takes me directly up to Canada. It turns into Highway 75 once we hit the border.
someone break down in the middle of the interstate? Oh, they hit something. Oh, okay. Oh, they hit a deer. Oh, that's what that cop was coming for. Oh, okay. You would think that even if you hit a deer, like the, the car, the front end was smashed in a bit, but I'm pretty sure you could have gotten it off the freeway. The speed limit here is 80 miles an hour or 130 kilometers an hour and it's nighttime. There's no way I would leave my car in the lane of traffic. There was people in that car, probably a family. I'd at least get my family out of the car. Get them into the ditch somewhere safe. That's crazy. Just They were just sitting on the highway like that. Good thing that police officer showed up and he can get people to slow down and go around. They're lucky they didn't just get hit from behind by someone not paying attention. Between Winkler and Morden, Manitoba, the other side of the river. A lot of sleeping trucks over there. So this is the co-op truck stop. I don't know why Steinbeck doesn't have something of a truck stop like this around it. Would be nice, since there's a lot of truckers around there. But here we park. Got a good spot right on the edge of the lot. I'll have no neighbors. Nice, quiet night. It'll be a short night, though, because uh, all I gotta do is stop for eight hours here, and I'm good to go again. Unless they want me to go into the States, which then I'd have to stay here for 10, so I'll give them a call tomorrow morning, see what they want me to do. So I'll be up first thing. Call into the office. I'll be like, hey, what's the plan after this? If, if you do want me to keep going, if you want me to go into the US, maybe they got some freight for me to pick up there. Maybe they want me to go to Kenora and then go down to Brainerd. Either way, if I'm going down to the US, I'm going to have to stay here for 10 hours so that I'm legal on the US side for US hours of service. Because I didn't stop for a two hour break today. Otherwise, I could split my sleeper berth, stay here for eight if I would have stopped down in Sioux Falls maybe for two. I only stopped there for an hour and a half. Maybe I should have just stayed there for an extra half hour. That would have given me my two hours. And then I could split my sleeper berth with right now, only stop here for eight and then be legal both sides of the border. I just have to stop for another two hours sometime throughout my day before I run out of that. All right, it's really confusing in the US with the split hours of service. That's a whole video on itself. I don't even know if I can explain it to you. I get it now, but I learned it from videos on YouTube, how to split your sleeper berth in the US. They, they make it so confusing. Here in Canada, it's a little bit more simple. But uh, here I do only have to stop for eight hours, but I do have to account for an extra two hours off duty within my 24 hour period from midnight to midnight. So maybe ours is just as confusing. I'm just used to it. I don't know. I, I've, I've gone back and forth across the border so much. Uh, I just sort of automatically just switch in my head when I'm on that side. Just like my phone. I use the same phone on both sides of the border. I have a Canada-US plan. So as soon as I cross into the US, it just jumps onto a US tower. And then I have a US phone. Same phone number, same everything. But it's just, it bounces off US and it doesn't matter which side of the border I'm on. I say I pay the same bill. 
And uh, I guess that's just it's the way my brain works too. It doesn't matter what side of the border I'm on, I just click into that hours of service. Click onto their towers, right? Anyways, thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you join me, subscribe to my channel. I make new videos all the time and I've been doing it for a long time. You can go to my main channel, check out all my playlists. You can follow my life day by day for the past 13 years. It's been a little bit, it's been a hot minute. So welcome here, let me know down below that you're new. I'd love to welcome you. I hope you stick around. I'll see you tomorrow.